Why do I feel like there's going to be someone I'll pop out? No, the diamond stream comes up. Let's talk. In the smuggler's caves. You are now standing 70 feet below ground. Did you know that? Yeah, it's cold. Down, <laughs> dark down here and there. But that's exactly the sort of place where we smugglers like to hide our gin, tobacco, and other booty in the old days. I should know. I was here. Of course. I was alive there. But there were people down here hundreds of years before us smugglers. Oh, yeah. Like nobody knows who carved this weird figure. You'll find it in what they call the chapel. Which happens to be the most haunted part of the caves. <laughs> now look over here. This was the original entrance. Back in 1786, some posh gent found a pair of old beggars living here. They said the caves only went back a few feet into the darkness. And told them to hop it. A few feet. Ah, I warrant the smugglers were slipping them a few coins to keep out prying eyes. But more about smugglers later. <laughs> oh, yes. In the early 1800s, some of the young rascals from the town had to bring their girls up here. You can imagine. So the mayor of Hastings decided that the cave should be closed and sealed. Until some years later, a gent called Joseph Golding was working in a garden up on the West Hill. When the ground gave way, and he nearly tumbled into the cavern. He was astounded by what he saw. A being a bit of a showman, he got permission to open the caves to the public. Lit with hundreds of candles, those people thought that it was in fairyland. But old Golding didn't stop there. He cut pillars and domes out of the solid rock to create the bone, where they had regular dances. And look at this big chap behind you, over the door. Yeah. And there is another one opposite him, just round the corner. That's the military gentleman. St. Clement's Caves was the place to visit in Victorian times. Oh, Lord, yes. Much later, during the World War, which started in 1939, the caves were used as an air raid shelter. Bombs were falling on the houses in Hastings, so people came down here to be safe. There were nearly 600 beds in the caves. Imagine! Then after the war, they had tours of the caves again. And tea dances. <laughs> oh, and the jazz evenings. What a racket! Enough to wake the dead! Which reminds me, you'll be wanting to discover more about the smugglers. Whose spirits still roam around these caves. So off you go, and old Harry Jack will be around to tell you some more tales later.